Prince Harry and Meghan Markle undertaking their first engagement of the year and their second as a couple. Pair at the studios of 24-hour underground music station represent 107.3 Fathoms in Brixton, South London. Approached station's founder before Christmas asking if they could go along and meet staff and volunteers. Prince Harry and his fiancée Meghan Markle put on a touching display of affection today while undertaking their second engagement as a couple. The royal pair went to the studios of Represent 107.3 Fathoms in Brixton, a 24-hour underground music station and the only one in the UK presented by people under 25, arriving to tumultuous cheers from the adoring crowd. Helen Wiltshire, 69, from Crowley, West Sussex was overcome with emotion and broke down in tears as she thanked the pair for their visit, telling Meghan she loved her. She clasped hands with Miss Markle and Prince Harry when they left Pop Brixton and said she has a special connection with the royal family which dates back to the early 20th century. Ms Wiltshire told Mail Online, it just means so much. In 1900, my grandfather signed the 1900 Uganda Agreement with Queen Victoria. Because of the royal connection we've always felt close to them. She wept as she held their hands and told Meghan, thank you, thank you for all you've done. Speaking afterwards, she said, I just love Prince Harry. For him to have found someone who he really loves it is amazing. You can feel their love I wish them all the best. Ms Wiltshire ran a shop for 25 years from across Pop Brixton and added, I just want to say it was a dream to meet them. I wished them all the best and thank you so much for coming to Brixton. Scroll down for video. Now get one like it. Harry told the station's founder Shane Carey, 46, the work he was doing was amazing, while Meghan made everyone laugh when she told them, I must tune in. And down to earth Meghan beamed as she waved to the crowds while wearing a £600 coat by Smythe, Burberry trousers and a £45 sweater by high street giant Marks & Spencer. Rather fittingly, the pair listened to the track Flirt by the artist Pote and Meghan praised teenage presenter Gloria Bay, 17, telling her, I can see why your show is so popular. You're so thoughtful and your approach is so engaging. With just 122 days to their wedding, this is the first engagement of the year for the happy couple. Afterwards they greeted well-wishers who had waited for hours in the freezing cold and even stopped to pose for selfies. Foster carer Charlie Watson, 55, waited out in the cold for hours to catch a glimpse of the couple and said she was excited to welcome them to Brixton. She said, it's good to see Meghan and Brixton, a black community, it's the first time we've had a royal visit here. Hopefully she will want to help areas like this. I hope she liked it, I think she would like it even better at night. She could try out the nightlife. American students Jennifer Martinez, 20, and Millicent Sasu, 19, from Baltimore, U.S., were also in the crowd. Jennifer said, she's black, she's white, she's an actress, she's American. She brings a bit of everything and has so many different qualities and brings such a lot to the table. Millicent added, I feel like she's the new face of America, which is great for our country. John Lowry, 62, set up Camp Pop was at P.O.P. Brixton at 6 a.m. this morning but despite arriving in good time, the Patriot said he never believed today would be the day he would finally get to meet Prince Harry and Miss Markle. The royalist from Streatham, South London, told Mail Online he had attended dozens of royal visits over the years but had only managed to catch Prince Harry's eye once before. 
This all changed this afternoon however, in part thanks to Mr Lowry's great British get-up. Dressed in a Union Jack hat, hoodie and trousers to match, he caught the eye of the 